Welcome to this tutorial on structure manipulation using Chimera. In this tutorial, we will learn to open a structure on the Chimera window, move, rotate and zoom the structure, scale and clip and change the display of the structure. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of undergraduate biochemistry or must be familiar with structural biology. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 14.04, Chimera version 1.10.2, Mozilla Firefox browser 35.0 and a working internet connection. UCSF Chimera is a software for interactive visualization and analysis of molecular structures. Chimera is developed by the resource for biocomputing, visualization and informatics at the University of California, San Francisco. More information is available at the given link. To start the Chimera window, click or double click on the Chimera icon present on the desktop. A rapid access interface opens. A rapid access window allows you to access the frequently used data and tools. Click the lightning bolt icon at the bottom right corner of the window. This will display the graphics window. 3D structures and other data are displayed on this window. Toggle between the two windows by clicking the lightning bolt icon. Let me now go back to the graphics window. Many tasks in Chimera can be accomplished by two methods. First one, by making use of the menu bar located at the top of the Chimera window. Other is by entering commands on the command line. To show the command line, click on Favorites menu. Scroll down and click on Command line option. A command dialog box appears at the bottom of the Chimera window. Commands for a particular task are to be written in the text box. We will learn more about this feature in the subsequent tutorial. To resize the window, drag any corner of the window. Now, let us see how to open a protein structure. There are three ways to do it. If you are connected to internet, click on the file menu. Scroll down and click on Fetch by ID option. A dialog box appears on the screen. You can connect to various databases to fetch the structure. For demonstration, I wish to display a protein structure. I will select PDB from the options. Type the four letter PDB code of the protein molecule you intend to display. I will type 1 ZIK. This is the PDB code for leucine zipper protein. Click on fetch button. By default, a ribbons display of the protein will appear on the display window. We can also type a command to fetch a structure. In the command line text box, type open 1 ZIK. Press enter to open the structure on the display window. If you are not connected to internet, you can open the already downloaded PDB file. To clear the structure present on the screen, scroll down the favorites menu and click on model panel option. A model panel dialog box opens. Click on Model ID, then click on Close option. Close the model panel window. Now, I will demonstrate how to download a PDB file. You need a working internet connection to download the PDB file. Scroll down the file menu and click on Fetch by ID option. A dialog box opens. Scroll down to the bottom of the dialog box. Click on Web Page button. A PDB database web page opens in the browser. If you know the PDB code for the protein, type in the text box provided or type the name of the protein. I know the PDB code for leucine zipper, so I will type 1ZIK in the text box. Click on Go button. Scroll down the page 
click on the Downloads Files button, located on the right hand corner of the page. From the drop down menu, click on PDB File Text option. A dialog box appears. Click on Save File option. Click on OK button. The downloaded PDB file will now be saved in the Downloads folder. Back to the Chimera window. Close the dialog box. To open the already downloaded PDB file, click on Open option in the file menu. Navigate to the Downloads folder. Select 1zik.pdb file. Click on Open button. A model of leucine zipper is displayed on the panel. By default, the two peptide chains are displayed as grey ribbons. Use the mouse button to move the structure on the panel. Left mouse button for rotation. The middle mouse button controls XY translation. The right button or the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out. For interactive scaling and clipping of the structure, use Side View option from Favorites menu. A viewing window opens. A tiny version of the structure is shown on the window. The yellow square on the left represents the viewer's eye position. Try moving the small square using left mouse button. Dragging it horizontally, adjust the scale factor. Double clicking the eye position shows a menu for changing the camera mode. Move the clipping planes, that is the two vertical lines, using the left mouse button. There are more viewing controls on the window, which you can explore. Close the viewing window. Let us now learn to manipulate this structure. The first step is to select the part of the structure you want to modify. For now, I want to show the entire protein structure as atoms. Click on the Select menu in the menu bar. Select menu in the menu bar will allow us to select individual components of the structure, such as chain, element, residue, ligand, etc. However, if nothing is selected from the select menu, it means we want to modify the entire structure. Now, go to Actions menu and select Atoms, Bonds from the Options. Click on Show from the sub-menu. On the screen, we see atoms as well as part of the structure as ribbons. Now, to remove ribbons, Select Ribbons from the Action menu. Then click on Hide option. The entire structure is now shown as Sticks display. Let us now proceed with a bit more manipulation of the structure. The following steps will convert it to the Ball and Stick display. Click on Actions menu. Scroll down to Atoms, Bonds. Select Ball and Stick from the submenu. Notice that the structure is without hydrogen atoms. To add hydrogen atoms, scroll down the Tools menu. Click on Structure Editing. From the submenu, select Add Hydrogens option. In the dialog box, make selections as shown. Click on OK button. Observe that the structure is now shown with hydrogen atoms. Usually, the structure of a protein is associated with water molecules. To hide water molecules, go to Select menu, scroll down to Residue, click on HOH option. Observe the screen. All the water molecules are highlighted. Go to Actions menu, scroll down to Atoms and Bonds and click on Hide option. This will hide the water molecules from the structure. The Presets option in the menu bar has some more options to change the display. When you click on Interactive 1 option, the structure will be displayed as ribbons and both the peptide chains in different color. Interactive 2 will convert the structure to Atoms display. Go back to Interactive 1 display. We can also selectively change the color of peptide chains. Scroll down the Select menu 
and select chain A from the submenu. Chain A is now highlighted. Go to Actions menu, scroll down to Color, select Yellow. Chain A is now displayed in yellow color. To clear the selection, hold Ctrl key on the keyboard and click on the empty space on the Chimera window. We have now come to the end of this tutorial. To exit the Chimera window, go to the File menu and click on Quit option. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to open a structure on the Chimera window and download the PDB file for protein structures, move, rotate and zoom the structure, scale and clip, change the display using menus in the menu bar, remove the water molecules and add hydrogens. For the assignment, download the PDB file of leucine zipper from PDB database. Open the PDB file on camera window using open option in the file menu. Change the display of atoms to wire and all the aromatic rings as disks. Your completed assignment will look as follows. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.